So if you have a website or any sort of publicly available web space, you can create an update file for your pseudo effect that allows the pseudo effect installer to detect whether or not the user's pseudo effect is up to date. Now creating these update files is extremely simple. They're just a very basic XML file that says what the current version of your pseudo effect is and compares it to the version that's installed on the system. So to create this file, the first thing we're going to do is add the basic XML header. Now once you have this header, we're going to add our first tag, which is the update tag. And I like to just close them off right away. And the update tag is going to hold the other two tags, which are the version number and the URL. So let's first put in the version number. And inside you're just going to put the number for the current version of your pseudo effect. In this case, we're still working with the simple graphs pseudo effect, and that's going to be version 1.0. Then we're going to put in the URL to where someone could download that pseudo effect. So add the URL tag and close it off. And then I'll just put in the link to that file. And this is actually the completed update file. So you'll just put this file online and then in the pseudo effect builder, you'll add a link to this XML file under the update URL section. Now you can see here that I named this update.xml, but you can name this whatever you want as long as you link to it properly in this field. So we can put this online and then if we go into the pseudo effect installer and over to the file menu and down to pseudo effect list, we can see that this list now tells us that our simple graph pseudo effect is up to date. And that's because our version number is the same as the version number that's written online. Now, if we change this to version two and uploaded this file, now we're saying that there's a newer version, version two of simple graphs online. So if we go back into the pseudo effects installer and back into the effect list, you can now see that it says update is available. And this actually becomes a link that if clicked on, will send you right to where that file can be downloaded. And this URL is the one that you put in over in the URL of the update file. So that's how easy it is to create the update XML for your pseudo effect. And I would recommend creating them if you're creating a pseudo effect, just so that users can get the full functionality out of the pseudo effect installer.